A European themed development is just days away from opening. It's going up on some much desired real estate in the country's fastest growing city. Tom Miller talked with Austin Business Journal reporter Justin Sayers about what to expect at Wolf Lakes Village. Before crews broke ground here, this was known as the best available corner lot left in Central Texas. Why was that? Yes, yeah, so if you just look at the way that Austin is growing, uh, both in terms of population and in terms of you know economic development, a lot of that is shifting to the suburbs. Georgetown has been the fastest growing city in the U.S. for two years in a row. Uh, a lot of companies are relocating up here. Uh, plus, this location has really good access to transportation, so you can get to you know other cities, uh, whether it's Houston, Dallas, you know, pretty quickly from Georgetown. Uh, so yeah, because of that, developers are really interested in this plot. It's hard to ignore the European theme here. There's the arches, the fountain, the tile roofs. What was the thought behind that? Yeah, so the owners of this development have said that the uh, style that they're going with uh, is called neo-retroism, which is kind of bringing the old world into the new world. Uh, they said they kind of fell in love with this style when they went on trips to Italy and Croatia. So that's what they're trying to bring here. And, you know, it's a little unique for, you know, these mixed use developments that are popping up and just a, a new style that we really haven't seen here before. And this development opens next week. The new HEB is opening, but that's it. There's still about 50% of the land that's untouched. Why is it taking so long? Yes. Yeah, so the owners of the property, uh, uh, Iva Wolf McLaughlin, her family has owned this property for decades. Uh, or the majority of the property for decades. So they're really looking to do something with the land where they can be stewards of the land. So they don't want to jump in and throw in fast food restaurants or you know chain restaurants. They really want to take their time and find the right fit so they can have something that serves as kind of a, a milestone project. Uh, so because of that, they're going to be patient. You know, the interest they say is there, but they really just want to find the right fit. Okay. Justin Sayers with the Austin Business Journal. Thank you, Justin. Thank you so much for having me.